everyone. Um, yeah. It is great to be here, Democrats. Woo! Uh, I would like everyone to uh, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to begin with. So please rise. Here's the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Woohoo! Well, good morning, and as always, it is fantastic to be here. I love you all, but a quick shout out to the DuPage Dems, my hometown. Where are you guys? Woohoo! Went from one person, one Dem in DuPage to now we've turned that, we've turned the, uh, the county. So thank you, everyone. A, also, big shout out to Doug House, who has been doing amazing work. Amazing work. And of course, I have got to send out congratulations to the two awardees here this morning. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Democrat, Bill Houlihan. Woo! <laughs> if I were not, I could not be here without Dick Durbin, but let me tell you, if Dick Durbin is my mentor, then Bill Houlihan has been my pathfinder. Thank you, Bill, for the years and years of answering my phone calls with me confused or not sure of what's going on. And Lauren Beth Gash. I, I, could, I know, I know, right? But I, I want to share with you, I couldn't get it on the slideshow, but I'm going to hold it up on my phone, and I hope that the cameras pick this up. But I want to show you a picture of January 24th, which is the day I moved into my new Senate offices and took Mark Kirk's door off the nameplate. <laughs> Can you guys see that? You can't quite see it. I'm wearing a Lauren Beth Gash campaign shirt from her very first time that she ran. And let me tell you, if there was anybody who worked literally for a decade or more to get rid of Mark Kirk, Lauren Beth Gash was there. Thank you for all the shoe leather, the blood, sweat, and tears. Congratulations for the well deserved awards both of you are receiving today. Um, you know, I've only got a few minutes, so I'm going to get right into it. What is going on with the Republican Party these days? What is going on? And I'm not just talking about President Trump and his offensive remarks on, well, just about everything, um, but most appallingly about the un-American terrorist white supremacists that descended on Charlottesville over the weekend and killed innocent an innocent woman while injuring many more. Here's the deal, I've not heard from our own de uh, Illinois Republican delegation condemning this president for supporting white supremacists. It doesn't take a lot to say Trump is wrong, white supremacists are not fine people. It does not take much to say that. You don't need a focus group, you don't need polling, you don't need to talk to your comms team to say Trump is wrong, white supremacists, racists, KKK, Nazis are un-American. That's it. I'd like to hear that from any one of the Republicans in our delegation. <laughs> Both the violence and the president's reactions are truly horrifying. They go against everything that it means to be an American. It goes against the values of equality that countless servicemen and women have risked their lives defending. President Trump, Brave American servicemen and women have not risked their lives throughout our nation's history so that you could embolden neo-Nazis and white nationalists right here on our own soil. Didn't do it. In fact, when my Illinois National Guard unit of amazing, amazingly brave young men and women deployed to Iraq in 2004, we were attached to the 3rd Infantry Division, a unit that fought, that fought in the Battle of the Bulge along with the 101st Airborne Division against the Nazis. Illinoisans, native Illinoisans from this soil have fought against Nazis, and yet we have a president who thinks that they're fine people, not acceptable. I'm also concerned about what's going on with the Republican Party right here at home, specifically in the governor's office. 
Governor Rauner ran in part on his record as a businessman to convince Illinoisans that he would be able to make deals and compromise to move our state forward. But since he's taken office, we've gone nothing but backwards with each stroke of his veto pen and his unwillingness to work towards common sense solutions. On the issues that matter to the economic security of Illinois families, and it's costing hardworking Illinoisans dearly. When enough members of his own party are willing to stand up to him and overturn his vetoes, that's better than nothing, and at least it helps us stop the backslide he's causing, but it's not good enough for the families who need us most. The families of steel workers in Granite City who were laid off two years ago, right after Christmas, and who are still out of work, the hardworking Illinoisans like them across our state, they're the families that I think about, that I work every day to try to make sure we give them a better deal so that they know that after a lifetime of hard work, they're going to own that house because they've been able to pay off the mortgage, that they're going to be able to send their kids to college and be debt free when they get out of college, that they're going to have a dignified retirement with health care and Social Security there as a safety net for them. Perhaps the governor has forgotten who the working families are that are the backbone of this state, but let me tell you, Democrats have not. His refusal to help them is why we have come together and do everything that we can and why we must do everything we can to defeat him next year. And I know I'm ready. Are you? Yeah. And we've got some great candidates in the race. We've got some great candidates in the race, and I'm going to do everything I can this year to help them win so our state can finally get back on the right path. And each and every one of you is helping in that effort, and the people of our state need all the help that they can get as long as Governor Rauner is around. So may God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops who are in harm's way right now. Always, God bless the United States of America. Thank you, everyone.